Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. If you watched one of my earlier videos where I was demonstrating the tablet's camera abilities, you will now be eager to see how I actually edit this video together, and this is a video I'm going to do it in. I'm going to use an application that came with the Asus Transformer Prime, which is Movie Studio. I am going to commentate to a point on this um, editing process, um, but since it's the first time I've ever used Movie Studio, um, please do bear in mind that I might go um, silent for a while as I try and work out what the hell is going on. Uh, it is a bit of a complicated way I'm doing it because I'm trying to edit a video while producing another video and using software I've never used on a tablet which I've never used to take camera pictures. So let's get it started. I'll go straight to Movie Studio and see what we can find. Create a new project, that bit's easy. So we'll call it Asus camera video and so here are my options and I can add some videos so import a video clip from file manager now then next question where does it actually save my videos because I have no idea Okay, I think I've found them in the DCIM folder. Uh, it doesn't look as if it's just chucked it in with all my other photos that I've put in there. But fortunately, I haven't any other videos. So there we are. It's not the right one though, so we need to somehow get rid of this. Here's a problem with um, the Asus Transformer Prime because Control Z doesn't undo. So I have no idea how to remove this video at the moment. Not a clue. I guess I'll just put the next video in front of the first video because that was the second part I believe of the video I do apologize if this is boring however it does give you somewhat of an insight into why the hell is it doing that right it does give you some insight into the process that goes on behind producing a video pretty sure it's that one Right, there we are. So that's the first video that's now come on. It's 172 meg, it is a big one. So let's play it and see if it works. Um, I do intend to put on some caption at some point. Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. And this video is all about this. Let's see if it works. Okay, so Okay, so that. Ooh, that's, that seems to be working okay then, actually. This little slider thing here moves along. Oh, I see. Actually, zooms it in so it makes the clip easy to navigate, I think. So it shows it five seconds. Yeah, so that goes right in, so that's useful. Um, now, let's see. So I have my first part of a video. which I believe will transition onto the next part of the video. I just need to zoom that out a bit. This is not Windows Movie Maker, I'll tell you that much. Just zoom out a bit more. So I can see here, I don't know if it shows on the camera, this transition between the two. So I'm going to play it. So it goes straight into the next video, which is fine. So I think let's just drop in the next part, which is another 1080p video, which is that one. Hopefully that should have gone onto there, which it does. That's me walking up some stairs. 
Okay. That looks fine, so I just need to add one more video. Okay, and then I need to add some pictures, I believe, now. Um, again, camera pictures. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to add these one at a time. But let's just see if one works. That a video clip cannot be added. So, let's import an image. I think it needs to do it that way. And import there. So there is, so I'll just add all these images, which will be very boring to watch, so just bear with me. So I seem to have added the images fine. What I would like to do now is put some captions on them. That was enjoyable. It looks like it did serve, which is a big relief. So, title. Add title. Um, one is a subtitle, so just so if we just add that, which is fine. And I did actually miss one more image I wanted to add. Is it done? I've actually found that getting images from the gallery is much easier than the way I was doing before. So that seems okay. And then if I remember rightly, I need to add one more video. I wonder if I can do it from the gallery. Which I can, that's much better. I think that was the last one that I needed to add. Okay, so that is my video, I think, after three minutes. And I've got to say I'm quite impressed with how easy it was to do it with just the touch screen. I've not used a keyboard almost at all just to type in a bit of stuff. Um, I suppose one thing I would like to do is if I could is include some credits or titles. Okay, I just had to go away for a few minutes to try and work out how to do some things. I've now put on a title for the video and I've also done a very small transition effect um, here from one to the next from one clip to the next clip and I'm going to do another one now if it will let me. The idea behind it is you have to actually press on it and then press on that little thing there and then you can choose your transition and I've got to make it as small as possible because it's the transitions are quite hard so now I've put in a transition let's see how well it copes with that if it works because now it seems to have paused again just sometimes a bit of slowness in actually processing a transition so um, not too pleased with the way that the Prime is coping with this since it's supposed to be the um, bee's knees when it comes to tablets but it's just yeah just when I click on stuff it's just it seems to be a bit behind itself and I'm like right it's, I think it's sorted itself out so play the video so there's a very quick transition there didn't work quite that well but I'm gonna leave it in anyway because it's taking too long to edit um, but all that seems to be okay. That panoramic shot might look a bit unusual. But then it came back in okay.
So this is the video you're watching now, me editing it, and I'm pretty satisfied that that's going to be the best I can do without spending hours and hours trying to edit. That's taken me about, I'd say, 20-25 minutes, and that was from not knowing how to use this program whatsoever. So I believe it's saved, so I will just simply export the movie, and I'm going to choose... So even though I've got a 1080p video on there, I'm going to have to change the resolution, so it kind of defeats the object of having high resolution. So I'm going to put it down to 640 by 480 even though I do have a high resolution one, because I can't demonstrate the... Now let's keep it 720 actually. And then the movie quality, let's just do it on medium, and then I'll export. So that's going to take a while to export, I presume. It may take an hour, God knows how long it'll take. So I'll export it, and then once it's done, I'll see how I can publish this onto YouTube without using the laptop at all. So half an hour later, we have success, although it was a very painful experience. If I go to the gallery and look at movies, and I believe it is that one. This is the latest movie. And this should play fine. It hasn't worked. Pro something's gone wrong, actually, with the video. Uh, either I edited it wrong or it's not rendered it properly. Uh, so there's a demonstration that the film is actually working, uh, which is fine. Um, while I was actually uploading the video, uh, one of the really annoying things was that, first of all, it takes quite a long time to do. It took about five to ten minutes to render the video, but the tablet actually turned itself off as if it was idle. Uh, so I had to press the screen a couple of times to make sure that the tablet stayed on, not didn't go into standby, because when it went into standby it stopped rendering and went back to zero percent. So I'm not sure if that's a setting or just something wrong with the software or something wrong that I did, but I had to sit around and press the screen to make sure that it rendered the video. When it did render the first video it went wrong and there was lots of tearing and jagginess and the video didn't play right and it crashed the tablet again. Uh, so that was another enjoyable experience, but finally I do think I have a video that I can actually display. So I'm going to upload it to YouTube now, using the actual YouTube application that's available um, on the Prime. So let's see if this works. So we can use upload option here, go to the gallery and it is none of them, it is this one here and so there it goes I think and the upload has begun so I will type in some information here hopefully it will upload, it's a 150 meg video so it's going to take quite a long time to upload hope you enjoyed this video, hope you find it useful uh, my bottom line is that don't try and use video editing on a tablet because it's just you just can't do it. Um, produ Productivity-wise, it's a nightmare to do, and it's not as good as using a laptop. So, unfortunately, as usual, the tablet, even though it has this keyboard and it's a ice cream sandwich um, Android 4 and it's an Asus Transformer Prime, I've demonstrated once again that you just can't do it. Hope you enjoyed this film. Uh, I'll see you in another video. Please comment and subscribe. Thanks.